So, first of all, I think one of the most important things about the passage of the 21st Century Cures Act and the Small Business Health Care Relief Act that was contained inside it is that you actually can get things done in Washington. You know, we for years have tried to get things done and everybody knows, everybody who reads newspapers or watches TV or reads blogs knows how polarized Washington has been and continues to be. To see that we can bring people together from both sides of the aisle in a bipartisan fashion to advance something that's really good for small businesses and really good for their employees, I think that's the most powerful and gratifying and important message coming out of the passage of the HRA reforms that were in the 21st Century Cures Act. HRAs in the Cures Act, uh, I think, really will help introduce a whole new population to consumer-driven health and give those employers who are running small business organizations a whole new opportunity to bring accountability and help offset that premium cost uh, for those individuals who are out there buying on the market independently themselves right now. There are 20 million Americans who work for small businesses who don't offer group health insurance. So there's a huge opportunity here not only for people who provide HRAs into the market, but there's a huge opportunity for employers who aren't helping their employees today because they couldn't to offer that help. And we believe that the, the uptake in the market is going to be significant.